beautiful day outside. The sun is shining. The birds are chirping. Oh, how shall I spend this wonderful morning? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> How else would I spend my day? Now, whatever should I play today? I know, let's open up Steam! Steam, 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 uh huh. Mm, now, oh, so many games. What to choose? Aha! Uh -huh. Some Necopara. That sounds like just the thing to play. <laughs> that laughing. It can't be. Answer, Gabriel. What are you doing here? I thought if you steal from the seventy-third dimension. You thought that paltry manners were enough to hold me. Auntie Gabon? Pitiful! I pity the Jack for revenge, and here to take what is most precious to you. What? What's most precious to me? You couldn't mean! Ah, but I do! Your precious games! They're coming with me! What's up guys, Romeo Guy here, back again with another episode of TGMT, and yeah, something like that would never happen in real life, right? That's probably the line of thinking that game developers who publish risque content on Steam have adopted over the years, and for good reason, because for as long as I can remember, as long as a game is properly tagged, and as long as it doesn't feature overtly sexual content, and as long as it isn't illegal in any way, then there has always been a place for those kinds of games on Steam. But apparently that's not the case anymore. In case you're unaware of what I'm talking about, at the time of recording this video, a number of developers have been informed by Valve that any adult content featured in their games must be censored otherwise their games will be removed from the Steam marketplace. And this isn't just some power move, this isn't some hostile takeover, this is affecting developers of all sizes, big or small, including developers and publishers of well-known and loved titles, such as Nekopara and Honeypot. According to the Lupisoft, the developer of the visual novel Mutiny, this blanket change in Valve's policy concerning sexual content on their platform seems to only be targeting games with sexy anime inspired art. It seems that this new change violates what Valve agreed to before, and the entirety of the visual novel genre on Steam is feeling the effects of this nuclear option. Every developer, big and small, no matter how much they followed Steam's guidelines to the letter, is having games pulled. From Honeypop, to Sono Hanabira, to Mutiny, the message is clear. If your game has sexy anime inspired art in it, get it gone. Whilst Western games, which are 100 times more pornographic content, escape unscathed. 
One rule for them, and no rules for us. And there does appear to be some truth to this statement. As it usually is when situations like this arise, people draw comparisons with Western-style games which feature more questionable content, like Grand Theft Auto. But even within the visual novel slash simulation game space, games which are utilising Western art styles do not seem to be feeling the effects of Valve's blanket policy change. Take the game House Party, for example. I perused the developer's Twitter, and there seemed to be a distinct lack of ah. What do I do? My life, my hair is being threatened! And this is a really, really worrying trend. Why all of a sudden are these games being targeted en masse when they've been left alone for so long? These games and their developers have been abiding by the Steam guidelines. Note the very same guidelines that anybody who wishes to publish a game on the platform needs to follow. So it's Valve who are going back on their word for some bullshit reason. As far as my opinion is concerned, this is nothing short of an atrocity. Not just for the developers, and not just for us, the end users, but for Steam themselves. When such a sweeping change comes in out of nowhere, targeting such a large amount of content, you are going to alienate a decent portion of your user base. I would not at all be surprised to see Steam's user numbers take a nosedive, especially if they do not issue a statement explaining just what the fuck is going on. Wouldn't that be funny though? You know, you get these like official statements from companies and whatnot when they do something wrong. What would Steam's like official statement header be for this thing? you know, RE, concerning our attack on anime titty, or, s <laughs> or something like that. Maybe that's why it's taken them so long to issue a defining statement. <laughs> or what? Did Steam seriously think that the filthy weebs which populate their user base would just slink into the night and conform to the titiless regime without a challenge, without a fight? <laughs> <laughs> Don't underestimate us. Or as I should say, NAMENJA NE KONAYERU! Angry weebs are a force to be reckoned with, and it's very, very clear that Valve does not know what they're getting themselves into. If you go and look at any of the tweets that I've quoted, which are all linked in the description below, and you go and look at the responses to those tweets, you will see that they are just filled with people going, I am done with Steam, or I am going to take my business elsewhere. Even people who aren't fans of anime or visual novels are still getting annoyed at Steam. I'm not an anime fan, nor do I really have an affinity for these types of games, but holy moly, stop being such a damn bully, Valve. These companies and devs have done nothing but apparently comply with all the rules agreed upon, and they still get treated like trash. Get your house in order, Valve, and stop acting like you are some moral Puritans here to save this good Christian gaming world. And on top of that, people are making and even signing petitions to stop Valve from taking away what is rightfully ours. Maybe that last bit isn't as serious as they're making it out to be, because people are also making petitions to change the word no to yes and. And as we all know, there is a decent amount of overlap between filthy weebs and shitty meat lords, so maybe it's less of a force to be reckoned with than I thought. But hey, at least it shows that people care. I... I still can't wrap my head around why this is even happening in the first place. The anime titty didn't do anything to anybody. You know what, I bet that this is just the work of some new hire at Valve who couldn't beat the first level of Honey Pop, so he got angry and started this crusade against anime titty. I bet that's what happened. Moments later. This can't be! I'm the love maestro! If I can't. If I can't have the anime titty. Nobody can. Luckily, there is a silver lining. There is a light 
at the end of the tunnel. In the worst case scenario, if these developers do end up having their games forced off of Steam, there are already pre-existing, well-established platforms which readily accept etchy and hentai content for them to host their games on. I'm talking about the likes of Nutaku, Manga Gamer, Just USA, and even more recently, Faku Games, just to name a few. In fact, in response to this whole shit show, and I think this was a really, really smart move, props to whoever thought of this, Faku put out a tweet welcoming developers of all sizes with open arms to their games platform. Today, many game developers were told to censor their games by removing mature content or they will be forced off of Steam. That's exactly why we launched Faku Games earlier this year. Please help spread the word that Faku accepts all games. So that's good, right? In fact, it's more than that, it's incredibly awesome. In a worst case scenario, these developers will at least have somewhere to host their game so they're not out of a job. But I still can't help but think that there is a downside to this. According to Steam Spy, there are an estimated 313,700,000 games downloaded on Steam in 2017 alone, which is a lot, to say the least. For clarification, that figure is also inclusive of people who acquired games for free via gifting. That figure does not equate to total amount of games purchased in 2017. And then on top of that, you have to also account for other methods of game acquisition like bundles. I'm sure some of you out there can sympathise with me when I say that when you purchase a bundle only for one specific game because it's available at a ridiculously cheap price but you get loads of other baggage, loads of other games you're not going to play and they just, you know acquire dust in your library, never to see the light of day again. Yeah, those games still attribute to that number as well. I didn't find the stats for Nutaku, Manga Gamer, and the other aforementioned platforms, so I had to go back to Steam, where I found some fairly interesting numbers. For the publisher Manga Gamer, the value of their total games owned doesn't even crest 1 million, sitting at only an estimated 706,000, which is representative of all time, not just 2017. And it's even lower for other publishers. Take Tentacle Games, for example, who have published games such as Monmusu and Tropical Liquor. Their total games owned value sits at an estimated 200. 138,000. And sure, you've got some other developers who are much better off, like Sekai Project for example, whose value of total games owned greatly surpasses that of the other two combined, sitting at an estimated 5,357,000. But I still can't imagine someone as big as them being immune from all of this, especially when they've published games with targeted content, such as The Fruit of Desire and Nekopara. So why am I chucking all these numbers at you in the first place? Well, don't get me wrong, it's definitely great great, in fact it's the thing of beauty, that these specialised platforms are coming to the rescue of these developers during their time of need and offering them a place of safe refuge. But I still can't help but think that in the end the developers are the ones who are losing out, they are the ones who are getting shafted, because they no longer get to utilise Steam's quite frankly massive reach, they no longer get to use that massive audience. If you're a developer in this situation, it's either adhere to Steam's shitty rules and bow to their ultimatum, which is if you want to use our platform and utilize this audience, you better cut the titty. And if I was a developer, I think I know which one I'd choose. Okay, so we're gonna get a bit meta for a second, because at the time of writing the script, which I'm using for this video, only the first tweet from Honeypot Dev had come out stating that this situation had begun and this is what was going on. But at the time of recording this video, about three days later, there's actually been an update from Steam concerning what's going on. Apparently numerous developers, including all of the ones I mentioned earlier, are receiving emails from Valve telling them to disregard the previous email which kicked off this whole hoo-ha in the first place. I have just received word from Valve apologising for the confusion, saying to disregard their previous email about the violation, that they are in the process of re-reviewing the game and will follow up soon. I should be clear that this doesn't mean we're out of the woods, it just means that we have an interesting development. Whatever the case, the communication and clarification from Valve is very, very much appreciated. Now that right there, that, that's some good ass backpedaling. And whilst it's a welcome development, it does not seem like Valve are going out of their way to apologise for their transgressions against weebs, so we'll have to see how the rest of the situation plays. 
that's where I'm going to call this topic to an end and call this video to a close. And I want to pass the question off to you. Let me know in the comments below or over on Twitter, at Oromeguy, what do you think of this whole Bonanza Fiesta, 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 yeah, Fiesta scenario party, whatever other words I can chuck out at your faces. What do you think? What do you think about what's going on? Are you done with Steam? Do they deserve your service after this? Do they deserve your business? I'll know it all. Again, comments, Twitter, social media, find me message me because this is important to all of us and i want to know your thoughts and as always if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like if you really like the video don't forget to hit that subscribe button i appreciate you enjoy your night or day wherever you are in this weird wide fucked up world of ours and as always i'll catch you guys in the next one